Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download, package, and install the developer edition, or in this case the beta edition, of CoursePlay. So the first thing you're going to need is you're actually going to need to have a zip utility. Now I talked about this in my modding 101 video, but um, I prefer 7-zip. That's my zip utility of choice. If you are familiar with and like WinRAR or something else, then by all means use that. But if you're new to all this, then I highly recommend 7-zip just because it seems to be the cleanest, simplest, less least annoying method because I, I, I don't like WinRAR because it, you know, wants you to buy upgrades and pay for stuff and I don't want to pay for a zip utility. <laughs> so I use 7-zip. So, uh, you know, 7zip.org, or 7-zip.org, sorry, and download. If you're on 32-bit Windows or 64, pick the right one. It'll go in your My Downloads folder. Double-click, run it, install it. Once it's installed, um, then you should be good to go. We can move on to the next step. Next thing you're going to want to do is to go to github.com. And GitHub is where the course play code is stored. And I've already got this to a repository that I contribute to because I've submitted bug um, issues and, you know, corresponded with the developers to get them resolved and things like that. So I've been, you know, working to help kind of test through some of the problems that I find as I'm using course play. So uh, if you don't have this already, then you're going to want to go to this URL here, which is github.com forward slash course play forward slash course play. And then it's going to take you to this. It's called a repository. Uh, and then from here, like there's a lot of stuff you can do. The only thing you really need to worry about doing is this big green button right here, clone or download. And you just download zip. And so it's going to save the zip file. It's going to put the zip file in your downloads folder. What I like to do then is I'm just going to cut that. And then I've got a course play folder here and stock from GitHub. So I'm going to paste it in this folder. This is just personal preference. You can put this wherever you want. Uh, the next thing I do is use 7-zip to extract the files to course play dash master. So now I've got this folder with the course play files in it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to my main course play folder here and I'm going to say new compress zip folder and I'm going to call this zzz underscore course play. All right. So now that I've got this, I can right click on this and say 7-zip open archive. And you can see this is empty, right? There's nothing in it. And then I'm going to come over here back to this course play master folder. And I'm just going to hit um, control A to select all the files, right? And then I'm just going to drag and drop them into here. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to copy files to archive? Yes. There we go. And it drops all those files into the archive. And I can just close this. And then if I go back up here, I now have this zzz underscore course play dot zip. And it's 554 kilobytes for this particular version. Obviously, it may be different depending on when you download and do this. And now the next step is to just install the mod. And this is done... Uh, pretty much like any other mod that um, you have to manually install, not mods that come from Mod Hub, in game Mod Hub, right? So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to right click on my mods folder, and this is uh, this PC documents my games farming simulator 2017. Inside there, there's a folder called mods, so I right click on that and then I hit paste. And since I already have an older version of course play in here, it's going to ask me if I want to replace this. And yes, I want to replace it. So it's going to copy over it and that's it. Now I have the new version of course play installed. So if I wanted to test that, 
uh, we can check here. It looks like the latest commit was version 1.0067 and it improved turning. So, I mean, you can kind of see So it looks like they kind of improved the turning on headlands, perhaps. Not too sure, um, you know, but you can basically go through and read these issues to see what it is that's been addressed in each version of course play. But basically all I wanted to do was take note of this number, right? So 10067. And then I'm just gonna open up, uh, get my controller turned on here. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Farming Simulator. All right, and I can go into mods and installed. And we can see here that course play 5010068 is installed. Which that's interesting. So apparently, um, there wasn't a comment, I guess, for 6.8. I'm not too sure how that works, but um, yeah, so that way I know I have the latest version then, right? So that's it. That's how you install the developer edition of Course Play. And of course, it's important to note that that was 5.1.068 versus this don't don't fall for this right don't put farming simulator 2015 which is 4.01 right that's what a lot of people do because if they if you come to this the other thing is releases right so if you go into the releases like you normally if you're familiar with github this is like one of the first things that people would do then is go to releases and you see the latest release is 401, which this is for FS15, right? So you don't want this for 2017. This won't work. And this isn't the one that's being updated. So that's that's kind of a, a gotcha right there. So <laughs> definitely want to do the clone and download of the courseplay slash courseplay repository. All right, well, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, uh, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.